First pitch is moments away at Turner Field. It's the Marlins and the Braves, and it's coming up next. Now from 755 Hank Aaron Drive, a look at Turner Field here in Atlanta. The calendar has turned to September, and we're ready for baseball between the East leading Miami Marlins and the Atlanta Braves. Hi again, folks. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you this matchup of NL Eastern Division rivals. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, let's take a moment to look at our two starters here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. All right, Steve, thanks. We'll hear from EK momentarily, but first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Miami Marlins, as their order will read like this. Alex Wood gets the ball to face them, and I think the one key will be how aggressive he is on the mound. He's got to get the ball and go right after hitters because he can get into trouble when he nitpicks and falls behind. Now a quick look at how the Braves will align themselves behind him. And as Ichiro makes his way to the box, it's officially time for baseball here. First pitch tonight is looked at for strike one as we get underway at 7.11 p.m. E.K., let's take a look at our homestanding nine as they enter play here this evening. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. But always important to play good baseball in front of the home crowd. And they were fortunate to get this series off on the right foot in game one. They'll hope to continue their winning ways here in game number two. Now the 1-1 one, one home to Ichiro. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Just overmatched him there. The one two. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw on to first will get the speedy Ichiro, and that's the first out of the ball game. With that, why don't we check out the scouting report for tonight's starter. As you see, the pitches you'll rely on as the night moves forward. Christian Yelich will stride in now. And as you see there, he sits ninth in the National League in batting at the start of play. First pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. That first pitch is going to be key all night long. If he gets ahead early with the fastball, that's when he can get tough to figure out, especially with the arsenal that he has. Now here's the pitch. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Oh, it makes such a difference here when you play during the day versus playing at night. Six hours ago, this might have split the gap, but here it hangs up just long enough for him to run it down out there in right center field. Martin Prado now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Comes in here right at 260. Eight home runs and 51 runs batted in. Here's the pitch. And a fastball mm, just misses. It's one and one. No. 
Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Up with it is Johnson. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Miami down in order, and now the Braves will get their initial shot here. No score. Now the starting lineup for the host Atlanta Braves. And there you see the starting pitcher they'll match up against as you look at his numbers on the right side of your screen. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Eric Young Jr. will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Oh, and he lays one down here, and this is going to be a tough play. And he fans on the barehanded attempt, so that ought to be scored as a bunt single. Man, he get flat out fly. I mean, once this thing got down, you figured if this is a fair ball, it's a base hit. That's almost too easy there. Nick Markakis will stand in for the first time, and he's seen that average climb during his current seven-game hitting streak. First offering on the way. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat, nothing and one. This Marlin ball club, Eric Karros, as they begin play here tonight, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. And it's been a less than amazing start to the road trip, too. They've won just one of their first four games, so they'll be looking to turn that around here. One one now to Markakis. Pitches a cold strike. The throw, not in time. He's in there at second. Well, I think they had a feeling he'd be going, but you had to figure they weren't going to pitch out twice in a row, and he winds up taking second here and moving into scoring position. Here comes a one two. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Again, a 1-2. And this might advance the runner as it's on the ground to second. And he's retired one away. And you know what? It's never too early in a ball game to play smart, fundamental baseball. You've got the leadoff man at second, so he's just shooting for the right side of the infield. And he's able to move him up 90 feet to third with just one away. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He's got the average of 285 here to start play with 19 homers and an even 70 RBIs. Comes set. Now the pitch. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. The 1-1. One, one. Change up just off the black, and it's 2-1. and one. Well, With every pitch it misses, he just keeps digging himself a deeper and deeper hole. One out and a runner on third. A 2-1 offering. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. 
Under it, Hechevarria for out number two. Wow, that's not the at-bat you want right there with a runner on third and one out. He's trying to get something up in the air, but this won't be nearly deep enough to think about scoring that run. That's a waste of that bat. Here's the left fielder, Johnny Gomes, now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. Seven homers, 27 driven in. The 1-0 now to Gomes. Up top, it's 2-0. Yeah, he's looked at two close pitches. You get the feeling that this is the calm before the storm. I think he'll unload on this one if this thing is anywhere near the zone. Hitters count 2-0. and oh. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And the run will score as the Braves strike first, deleted 1-0. Yeah, that's a good job right there with two away to pick up the first run of the ball game from third base. Very important to cash in when you're given the early opportunities, and he comes through big time right there. Stepping in now, A.J. Pierzynski, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Two out with the man at first. Pierzynski waits, the 1-0. Now a ball hit back up the middle, and this will be a base hit for Pierzynski. Well, this ball is not hit all that hard, but I have a feeling even if he gets to it behind the bag, he's going to have a real tough time getting up to throw his man out. Here's Chris Johnson now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Now here's a spot with a run home already. That looks nice on the scoreboard. But if you could put up a two or even a three spot here in the first, that could really go a long way against a guy like this. He's set. Now the pitch. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. Now this first inning's been a rough one already. He needs an out here in the worst way. Yeah, and you don't want to get caught having to play catch up this early in the ball game. So you're right. He's got to work his way out of this jam right now. On the ground is short. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Braves will settle for just the one. On now to the top half of inning number two. Atlanta leads it one to nothing. Michael Morse leads things off now in the top half of the second. First baseman, Michael Morse. First pitch coming. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. The 1-0 pitch. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. And on 2-0, and this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. Here's the 2-0. 3 and 0 now. Now that he's worked it to 3 and 0, he's got a couple of free pitches here to pick out one he really likes. Here it comes, the 3-0. -oh. 
And that oh, misses for ball it. four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, it seems to me like you've at least got to make him go after something there. I mean, the bat never left his shoulder. That's making it way too easy for a guy leading off the inning. Tyler Colvin will get his first shot here with the runner on following the leadoff walk. Now here's the first pitch. And now he squares around and drops down a good one. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. Yeah, it's still early in this ball game, but it looks like they're going to go ahead and play for the one here. This will get the potential tying run up to second base with one away. A Danny Echevarria digs in at the plate. Here's the first offering. 92 splits the plate, and it's strike one. Oh, a very hittable pitch, too. That's a middle-of-the-plate fastball, and he's not going to get away with too many of those tonight. He's set. Now the pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. Ready now on one and one. Swing, hard hit ball to second. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Well, at the very least, he does move that runner up to third base. But with two away now, I don't think that's exactly what he was hoping to accomplish. I think he wanted to drive him in. Derek Dietrich will get his first shot here, trying to come through with two away and a runner at third. First pitch coming. Ball oh, one. Very tempting up there, but that's also a pitch that a lot of guys will pop up. So that's a nice job of laying off. The pause, now the pitch. Fouled straight back. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the 1-2. One, oh, almost caught looking to end the inning, but it's called ball two and two. Where do you go from here? I think he's set up for something off speed. If you can put that change up below his knees, you won't come within a foot of it. Here comes a 2-2. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. One left for Miami. They still trail 1-0. Andrelton Simmons will stand in. He comes off an 0-4 for 4 in last night's ball game. Andrelton. Now the first pitch. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Now here it comes. A ball hit hard to the left side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Well, the problem with this lineup is that trouble lurks around every corner. I, I mean, he was fortunate to get out of that first inning with only one run scoring. But now he'll have his work cut out for him again here in the second. Kelly Johnson will take his cuts now.
Here's the first offering. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's the 1-0. Oh. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Now the one and one pitch. Aye. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. Yeah, and it's tough enough to hit 95 plus mile an hour fastballs. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. Now the one two. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. A runner at first with no outs here. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. He was really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the barrel through. I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me he was probably looking for something else. Into the box now, Alex Wood. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. And you know, I've always thought, if you're pretty sure a guy might be trying to bunt, then put that first pitch out of the strike zone. Make him show you his intentions. Maybe you get him to offer it something that he shouldn't. Here's a 1-0. And he pulls back the bunt attempt, 2-0. Not the right time to lose the strike zone here. Definitely not when you've got a guy giving himself up. Two-0 -well count, the pitch. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. Runners on first with one down. Here comes the 2-1. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. And they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Well, this is a nice job here of giving himself up. You see him square and put this ball down over toward the right side of the infield, and that's just where you want it to be. They do put the tag on him, but hey, he gets the job done. Here's Eric Young Jr. now. Runner goes for third. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And he'll be tagged out trying to steal third. That just doesn't make much sense as the inning is over. Braves go down without a whimper here. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. JT Real Muto is ready to go here as we begin the third. JT Real Muto. And here's the first pitch. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. and Yeah, and when your team still doesn't have a hit, you appreciate a call like that once in a while. The next pitch. This one's a strike. It's 1-1. One and one. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Has to reach for that one as he fouls it away to the right side. It's 1-2 and two now. One, two. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Now another 1-2. So two balls and two strikes now. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Here now the two-two. 
And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. You can bet they'd love a ball four here. Well, that would let this guy have a shot to bunt him over. Here's the three two pitch. And he struck him out. Jared Kozar will be the batter. First pitch to him. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Yeah, and that's the swing of a guy hoping for a first pitch curveball right there. If he gets it, he hammers it. If not, he's about three feet too late. The pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Marlins are still on the lookout for their first hit of the ball game. The 1-1 one, one home. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. You can hit the low fastball, but you're not going to hit that one up there. You can just forget about it. You've got to make him bring that thing down. Here's the lefties offering on 1-2. and two. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here's another one, too. Now oh, he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And there's out number two. Oh, man, would he like to have that swing back. I mean, he just missed hammering this ball, but just got underneath it a little bit. He's not going to be happy about that one, because even he thought he was right on it. Ichiro Suzuki will stand in here hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. Now here's the first pitch. Oh. Off the plate and away there. One, One ball, ball, no strikes. Okay. The 1-0. -oh. Right. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Here comes the one two. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. And I think that's what they were trying to set him up for. Going with that change up down in the zone on a one and two count. Very difficult to react to, but he did a great job of holding back. Here's the two and two offering. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Well, I think it's pretty simple. The message here is stop leaning out over the plate. You know, a pitcher's got to be able to work inside, so that's just a reminder there. Three two pitch. Now he drops a change up on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. One two three go the Marlins. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Eric Young Jr. makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Center fielder, Eric. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see. He's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. Here it comes. Ball one. Ooh, he might have felt the squeeze on that one. That might just change the whole complexion of the at-bat. One one on the way. 
This one's in there. Maybe should have been strike three, but instead it's one and two now. The right-hander deals on one and two. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And he'll be there to make the play. Nicely done. This play right here is all about getting a great lead and a good angle on the ball when it's hit. Great jump, runs it down, and that saves extra bases. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. The 1-0. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Now the 2-0. Outside and low, 3-0. And that questionable call on the previous pitch it really changes the at bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on two and oh now it's three and oh and the tide is not working in his favor and that's outside he lost him ball four Freddie Freeman will dig in here Flew out his first time around. Here's the first pitch to him. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. He's ready now. The pitch. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Runner at first here, one man out. Now the 1-1. One, one. And, oh, look out as the cutter ran way in and just about drilled him. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. Now the three one home. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. That's two walks now here in this third inning. I mean, it seems like he's having a hard time picking up the catcher right now. Johnny Gomes will stand in. An RBI single in his first appearance. First pitch coming. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Yeah, I don't think you want to come in throwing a lot of high change-ups. That's a pitch he's going to have to get lower in the strike zone. From the belt, the pitch. And that's cut on and missed by Gomes, and he's in danger now, down 0-2. Ah, uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. As a look, now the pitch. Hits softly to the right side. The second for one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. More ahead from Atlanta right after this. Christian Yelich. We'll stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. The fielder, Christian Yelich. 
Now the first pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. One oh on the way. Not close. It's two and oh. And down by a run, a leadoff walk would certainly help the cause. He's got to shrink that strike zone here and not chase anything that he shouldn't be swinging at. Here comes the 2-0. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. And so after getting the ground ball with the fastball on that last pitch, that'll segue perfectly to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And both of these guys bringing it pretty good. 97 and 93 is the top recorded speed so far. Martin Prado will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First offering on the way. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now the pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0 and 2. Too high, one and two. And now, as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. It'll take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. The one and two with one away. And that's taken outside for a ball, so he's worked it back to two and two now. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. E.K., you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Another tough pitch and a tough call there. He couldn't get him to bite again, so he's worked it from 0-2 to 3-2. and 2. Full count offering on its way. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. And I'll tell you what, he's throwing with a lot of confidence right now. And he's also taking some chances with location. You know, he's thinking he's bulletproof out there, and so far he has been. Michael Morse will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. First pitch on the way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. After walking him the first time around, he's all business here in the second half out. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Now here's the pitch. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Markakis is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Miami down in order. It remains 1-0. A.J. Pierzynski will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. A.J. Pierzynski. First pitch coming. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. One zero pitch now. Two and zero. Oh. 
the 2-0. Outside, 3-0 oh now. Not the best of starts to this fourth inning. Here it comes, 3-0. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. and one. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while, and when he does, you can forget it. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back. Payoff pitch coming. Now a swing and a routine chance in right for Ichiro. And he's got it for the first out. And that's a nice comeback from down 3-0 to get the fly ball out. This is a guy he did not want to walk, so he made sure the next few pitches were at least in the strike zone. One away for the resurgent third baseman, Chris Johnson. Now here's the first pitch. The cutter no. runs outside, ball one. 1-0. One -oh. And he won't bite at that one either, it's 2-0. Oh. Here's the 2-0 -oh pitch. Called a strike on the inside part of the plate, 2-1. and one. And we've seen a lot of that pitch here in the first four innings, and it's been real effective for him, and that's another example right there. Bases are empty, one man out. Here he comes on two and one. And a bouncing ball, foul. Here he comes on two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Waiting next is Andrelton Simmons. Now the three and two pitch. Fouled back. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Once again, a three two. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Andrelton Simmons will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Here's the first offering. Runner goes. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. And nobody can get there in time. Base hit. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Yeah, it's not too often that you'll see a first pitch hit and run, but it worked out here. Usually, you see it when the batter's ahead that count. 1-0, 2-1, sometimes even 1-1. But they roll the dice right away, and it pays off perfectly. Here's Kelly Johnson. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Now with runners at the corners, up by one with one away, some managers, they will at least consider the possibility of a hit and run here. Runners are at first and third, one away. Here comes the 1-0. 2 and 0 now. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. Here comes the 2-0. 3 and 0 now. But this has got to be on a platter now. You're in the driver's seat, and you've got to make this situation pay off. Now the 3-0 pitch. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. and one. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. and oh. Runners are at the corners with one man out. 
the 3 1. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Well, we knew he had to work carefully with the runner in scoring position, but I don't think a walk was what he had in mind. That's going to make things just a little trickier now with the bases loaded. Alex Wood will stand in now with the bases loaded, and this is one at bat he doesn't want to just throw away. He can really help himself here. Yeah, hitting is not really in a lot of pitchers' DNA, but you're right. He can find a way to just find a hole with the ground ball. That could be huge. Now the first pitch. And this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Come set. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. And, and now with two strikes, he can put the ground ball on the back burner and really go after the strikeout here. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. From the stretch, in under the hands with a fastball, it's 1-2. and two. Bases are loaded here, one man out. The one two stays alive here as this is fouled off to the right. He'll try again one two swing hard liner to left center base hit. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a two nothing lead. Helping his own cause right there, and no need to wait for the RBI guys to drive him in. He says, you know what? I can be an RBI guy, too. That's a great at-bat right there, and that drives in a run. Eric Young Jr. will dig in now. A single and a fly-out for him in two trips thus far. Here's the first offering. And obviously looking for the ground ball here as this misses low. It's 1-0. Pretty good speed here coming out of that left-handed batter's box, so it's no sure thing that a ground ball means a double play. Bases are loaded with only one out. Now the 1-0 pitch. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Even though that's a strike, that's still not a bad take because you're facing a guy that's already walked a few guys, so make him throw some more pitches. Run that pitch count up. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Now the pressure will really start to mount out there. That strike zone's going to feel like it's the size of a soup can right now. Bases are loaded here. One man out. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Bare-handed for one. On to Morse at first. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Braves get a couple of hits here in plate one. We played four full. It's the Braves two and the Marlins nothing. Tyler Colvin will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Center fielder, Tyler Colvin. First pitch coming. And this is on the ground toward the hole. And he'll reach to knock this ball down. But he'll have to just put this one in his pocket. And I'd imagine this will be an infield single to start the inning. Maybe these guys are going to start getting a little more aggressive here early in the count. This is the first pitch of the inning. And he's on base here to kick things off. A Danny Echevarria will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch to him. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine. But you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. 
He's set. Now the pitch. Oh, and he dusted oh. him off the plate that time. One Some ball. mind Three games three. being played now. It's one and two. Yeah, you got to be careful there after that leadoff single. You don't want to hit a guy here and really let him get something started. Here comes a one two. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Here he comes again one two and a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Two two. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And a double play ball perhaps for Johnson. Simmons. On to Freeman, and they get the double play. And that was quite a battle up there. He made him throw a ton of pitches. An advantage pitcher here, as in the end, he gets him to ground into the double play. Derek Dietrich will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. And here's the first pitch. Now a ball line foul up and over the Braves' dugout. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now the pitch. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Ready with the 2-1. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to 2-2 two and two now. The 2-2 two -two coming. Grounded foul. Still two strikes. Now here's the pitch. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. Three and two, here it is. Hit hard on the ground is short. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. We'll see Nick Markakis when we come back. It's the Braves two and the Marlins nothing. And here is Nick Markakis now. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And that misses ball one. Here's the 1-0. Now a ball grounded foul That's over foul. toward the coaching box. Here comes the 1-1. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's 1-2 and two now. Good curveball right there, and that just really froze him. Here's the one two hit hard but foul to the left and they'll try it again. Again a one two. And oh that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. And now fortunately they will get it out here. And time now to see quite where that got him. 
and it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Freddie Freeman will stand in, base on balls his last time. Now here's the first pitch. Too high with the fastball here. It's 1 and 0. The 1 0 home. Swing and a liner, but foul. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Now the 1-2. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Yeah, not a real good job of pitch recognition there. I mean, this ball was going to be in on his hands to begin with. I don't know quite what he saw that made him want to swing at that thing, but it just completely locked him up there. Here's the left fielder, Johnny Gomes, now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Now the 1-0. Hard hit to third. Up with it now is Prado. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Braves are set down one, two, three. They're up two to nothing. JT Real Muto will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for a reversal of fortunes here. The first five innings have not been particularly kind to them. And I think that's putting it mildly. Just one hit in these first five innings, they're going to need to do a better job of finding good pitches to hit. But that fellow on the mound has not made it easy on him, and that's for sure. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and 1-0 on the way. Nope. Lays okay. off the fastball away, and it's 2-0. and Now the 2-0 home. And he has a cut at that one, but misses 2-1. and one. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game, because right now they just seem out of it. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Uh, a rare mistake pitch there. That's just their second hit of the ball game, but this will go for a double. And now the right-handed batting Jeff Baker is in the on-deck circle. It looks like he'll be called upon to pinch hit here. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. A runner at second, nobody out. The 1 0 pitch. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1 and 1. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hack. Look into Pierzynski, the 1 1. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. 
one two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. As a hitter, when you're not catching up to the fastball and you're physically fine, a lot of times that means your problem is you're indecisive. You're not sure what you're trying to do at the plate. You're not confident. You're not trusting your ability. Right now, it's more mental than it is physical. Here's Ichiro now. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. Runner at second here with one man out. He waits. Now the pitch. Now a ball popped up. Playable behind the plate for Brzezinski. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Yeah, a good pitch there as he gets the pop out on the fastball as we take a look at his pitch breakdown so far. Christian Yelich will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. He's ready. Now the pitch. Well struck, but foul over by the coaching box. Pause. Now the pitch. Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's one and two. On 0 and 2, if that's a curveball, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight pass ball. In the air to center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Brian Morris will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the six. Number 57, Brian Morris. A.J. Pierzynski will step in to get things started for the Braves in their half of the sixth. A.J. Pierzynski. Looks like a left-hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Here's the 1-0. -oh. Just missing here, 2-0. -oh. Yeah, a little unlucky here to be behind 2-0. -oh. Those first couple of pitches haven't missed by a whole lot. The 2-0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. One thing that man right there will not tolerate, leadoff walks. Especially right out of the bullpen. This might be a quick outing if that happens. Now the 3 and 0 offering. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Here he comes on 3-1. And on 3-1, and one, this ball's hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Yelich able to take this one in, and there's your first out. Dangerous count right there. 3-1. and one. Dangerous pitch, too. He comes with the fastball, but he's going to live to tell about it as he gets him the loft and easy fly ball.
Here's Chris Johnson now. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Johnson awaits the 1-1. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1. And this is fouled straight back. Now here it comes. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. One out, nobody on. The 2-2. Two -two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Waiting next is Andrelton Simmons. Here's the full count offering. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. He's really off to a tough start in this series. Remember, he had the hat trick in game one yesterday, and now he's got another strikeout here. Sometimes when you get in a rut like this, they're not always easy to climb out of. In now is Andrelton Simmons. Now look out as this is whistled foul off to the right side. And the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. The one one. Chopper foul. Here comes the one two that misses and we're even at two and two now the two two pitch and he's getting his money's worth up there now it's full three and two. Three two here it comes and this one misses here a close pitch on three and two but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. You can't fault the pitch selection or the location there. It's well placed maybe just a hair off the outside corner but three two that's where you want to be. Here's Kelly Johnson as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. Well, that one's at 94, so the velocity's good right now. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A runner on first with two away. Johnson awaits the 1 1. And no offer on that one as the count to Johnson goes to 2 and 1. Now the 2-1. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Here's the two and two home. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. In danger now of a second walk out of the bullpen. Not exactly providing relief. He's got to find it here somehow. Now the three and two pitch. Hey, and he man. misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. 
Oh, you know he wanted that one. Now the inning will continue, and the guy moves up into scoring position. Alex Wood. He had a shot now in an RBI spot, so a chance to help his own cause here. And he's got a hit in the game already, so he can handle the bat at least a little bit. First pitch coming. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Now, if you're Atlanta, you have got to come up with a key hit here. Now, that's been missing. Here's a 1 0. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Eric, what are you looking for here? It's a fastball count, but he doesn't always play by the rules out there, so this could very well be a slider or something away. So, in other words, I have no idea. 2-0 on the way. Too tight with that one. 3-0. Oh. Of all the people to lose the strike zone against in this lineup, he's got to be out there thinking, how is this happening against the pitcher? Here he comes on 3-0. and oh. And that's over 3-1. and one. That might take the anxiety away for the moment. But he's going to need a couple more here to prove to himself that he's not losing it. The 3-1 coming. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full 3-2. Hey, give him credit up there. He's going to take his hacks. Full count pitch on its way. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Two left for Atlanta, but they're on top two to nothing. Back here at Turner Field. Seventh inning straight ahead with the Braves leading this one. But before we get it started, let's take a look there at the game summary to this point. Martin Prado will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. First offering on the way. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. The next pitch. That's wide 2 and 0. Well, one of the real strengths of his game is that he's not going to go after a whole lot of bad pitches out of the strike zone. So he's a guy that's going to make you earn it by only swinging at strikes. Now the 2 0. 3 oh, and 0 oh now. And down by 2, you better believe they'll take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner. Here it is, the 3 0. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. You know, when you're holding on to a slim lead, you just can't walk the leadoff guy. I mean, those are the ones that really come back to haunt you. So he's really going to need to work towards getting a ground ball here. Michael Morse will step in now, representing the potential tying run. And keep in mind, he is the team leader in home runs. So if anyone's got a shot of getting one out of here, it's him. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. Now the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Just because he's thrown five straight balls 
doesn't make this an automatic take, especially if for a guy in this part of the lineup. The 1-0. That command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2-0 now. All of a sudden, home plate's jumping around on him out there. He hasn't found the strike zone yet. The 2-0 on the way. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And Pierzynski will hang with this one for the first out. Boy, that's just another off-balance swing right there. Not only are these guys light on hits, they're not even making solid contact right now. Tyler Colvin will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. First pitch coming. Now a first pitch changeup here. Too far inside, it's 1-0. and oh. 1-0 oh on the way. And 2-0 and oh now as this misses below the knees. This is what you got to do up at the plate. You've got to wait him out. If you can lay off all of the off-speed stuff, that's when you're going to get yourself a fastball. Runners on first with one down. Hitters count 2-0. And, oh. and a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Like that one. The 2-1 home. Well, He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' counts. This is where you need to pounce. Now the 3-1. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there, it's short as he'll hang on here to record the second out. Boy, this guy's got him the lead back in the very first inning, and he hasn't looked back since. He's had everything go his way so far, and this inning's turning out to be no exception. Adani Echevarria will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. He's ready now, the pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Come set, now the pitch. Good swing there, but this is foul off to the right side. Comes set, now the pitch. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Here's the lefty's offering on one and two. Over to his left is Marcakis, but this will find the seats out of play. Now another 1-2. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw will go to Johnson at second for the force, and that ends the inning. Marlins leave one. They trail things here two to nothing. Mike Dunn will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Mike Dunn. Eric Young Jr. will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here.
in there for strike one, 0 oh and one. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Here's the pitch. Two straight fastballs now as he powers ahead 0-2. And, and that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93-94. That's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. And now a pitch on the way. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses 1-2. and two. The one two fouled straight back. Another one two delivery and they'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. Here comes a two two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. He knows a drill out there. You gotta make him swing the bat. Can not be giving up walks at this stage of the game, because those could be fatal. Now the payoff pitch home. A curveball here, but he was waiting for it and sends it in the air to deep left field. Yelich able to take this one in, and there's your first down. Nick Markakis will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Ooh, close pitch. Maybe just off the plate, but if it was, it wasn't by more than half an inch or so. Bases are empty, one man out. The 1-0. Up top, it's 2-0. Here's the 2-0. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now the 2-1 pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. 2-2 now to Marquecas. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full 3-2. Freddie Freeman there. He'll hit next. One out, nobody on. Full count pitch on its way. Swing and a liner. Foul. Another payoff pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The three two pitch. And now for the second batter in a row, this is in the air out to left field. And this will be taken in out there just a few steps in front of the track, and there are two away now. Well, I'll tell you what, this won't look like a whole lot in the box score, but anytime you can make a pitcher use up eight pitches to get you out, you've done your job as a hitter. Freddie Freeman will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Here's the first offering. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. One-oh pitch now. 
And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. When he's got that slider working the way he wants it, it can be such a weapon for him. Bases are empty here with two men out. The 1-1. One, one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Ready on two and one. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Up with it now is Prado. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Down in order go the Braves as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Derek Dietrich will dig in for the third time now. He's struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's the first offering. Now a changeup misses here to begin the eighth. It's 1-0. Oh. Well, that man right there is into his eighth inning of work now. Any concerns going forward? Well, I think the only thing you have to worry about is that pitch count you see right there. Other than that, he's earned the right to stay out there. Usually the other team will tell you when you're starting to get tired. Freeman is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Yeah, he just keeps rolling right along. Shut out attack. As you get a look at his line so far. Through seven and a third innings now, they have just not been able to mount any type of offense against him at all. JT Real Muto will dig in. He doubled his last time. First pitch on the way. And this one runs up high. Ball one. One zero. -oh. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. Yeah, he's still got that good movement on the two-seamer. He's been throwing it well all night long. Ready now on one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Not nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. Here comes a one-two. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Here he comes again, one, two. Has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. Bases are empty, one man out. He'll try again, one, two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left. Waiting on it is Gomes, and he's got it two away. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game, and the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. Donovan Solano will get the call to pinch hit here, as we'll see what he can do with two out, and the base is empty. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Now the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Look into Pierzynski, the 1-1. One, one. Up high, two and one now. Two one. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. And with the tying run in the on deck circle, the question 
Does he take a look at another one here? He just might. You're still going to see a good pitch on three and two, even if this one's a strike. Two out, nobody on. The three and one pitch. And that's lifted in the air out toward left. Boom is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They're down two to nothing. A.J. Ramos is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. A.J. Johnny Gomes will get another crack, one for three thus far. Good breaking ball there. Had him frozen. Strike one. Not a bad idea to take a look at that one there. Now that you've seen the curveball, you can start to get a better gauge on it. Get a feel for what it looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. Now here's the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Very brisk pace to the ball game thus far. 2 nothing our score as you get a look there at the line score to this point in the contest. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And in steps their catcher, A.J. Pierzynski. First pitch coming. In front of the change up there as this is chopped foul at home plate. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Pitch on the way. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Here it comes. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. You don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. The right-hander deals on one and two, and he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back punch-outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. I'd say he's made a pretty good impression since coming on. Two batters, two strikeouts to start the inning. Chris Johnson will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Now the first pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And the pitch. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Johnson awaits the 1 1. Upstairs again here, it's 2 and 1. A 2 1 offering. Uh, could have been 3 and 1. Instead, it's 2 and 2. Sets the 2 2 pitch. Now an off speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Braves are set down one, two, three. They're up two to nothing.
Ichiro Suzuki will stand in to lead things off as the top of this batting order really hasn't been much of a factor so far. Yeah, and between the top three guys in this lineup, no hits between them. And you got to figure you're not going to win too many games when that's the case. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. First pitch to him. Ninth oh. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Now a swing and little pop-up here right behind home plate. Here's the pitch. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Can't ask for much more out of a starting pitcher. He's working on a two-hit shutout right now. Christian Yelich will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Now here's the first pitch. And the first pitch is chopped foul at the plate at strike one. Now here's the pitch. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Boy, that change-ups had him eaten out of his hand. Oh, and they've been falling all over themselves trying to get it. But you've just got to know that that's not going to be a strike. It looks like it is, but it isn't. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. So one and two with one away. So two balls and two strikes now. All right. Now you've just seen two straight breaking pitches miss away. So as a hitter, you're going to eliminate that pitch. No way does he throw it a third time. Full count, three and two. And I know he wants the shutout, but with his pitch count the way it is right now, a walk right here might signal the end of the line for him. Here's the three-two pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. Just foul. The next 3-2. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll take this on to first. And they're down to their final out, two away. And this has been a thoroughly dominating performance out there. Kept this guy guessing all game long. And just one out away now from picking up a well-deserved complete game shutout. Martin Prado will stand in now as their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. And here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And you got to think that guy right there is hoping he's going to get one final opportunity. They'll need a two-out base runner for him to get any shot. Now here's the pitch. And this is swung on and bounced on the ground to third. Throw to first will be in time to get him. And the Braves have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Yeah, just two hits were all they could muster off of him. He was in complete control from the start of this game, and he finished it off in style, too. Definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so.
so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home top player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, definitely no, no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a, a few times, and he winds up with a complete game shutout. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The Braves are winners here, two to nothing. Good night from Atlanta.